When I was in high school, I participated in a production of Spoon River Anthology. I want to share with you a couple passages. and The first one's a long one, so it's going to take up uh, pretty much all of all of this take. Let's see. <clears throat> now this version of Fiddler Jones was uh, it's not the one that I was given in high school. And uh, don't be surprised if my interpretation is <laughs> not what you expect. Okay? <clears throat> the earth keeps the vibration going there in your heart, and that is you. And if people find that you can fiddle, why fiddle you much for all in your life? What do you see? A harvest of clover? Or a meadow to walk through to the river? The wind's in the corn. You rub your hands for bees hereafter ready for market. What if you hear the rustling of skirts like the girls when dancing at the little grove? To Cuny Potter, a pillar of dust or one on knees meant ruinous troth. They looked at me like redhead Sammy, sipping it off the to tour or How could I tell me forty acres not to speak of getting more? With a medley of horns, pursuance and piccolo stirred in my brain by crows and robins and the creak of the windmill. Only these. And I never started to plow my life when someone didn't stop in the road and take me away to a dance for a picnic. I ended up with 40 acres. I ended up with a broken fiddle. And a broken laugh and a thousand memories. And not a single regret. Okay, that may have been a bit too fast. <clears throat> I have a tendency to do that. I'm sorry. <clears throat> 